good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen i'm here to present uh, a pr presentation about st jose of engineering college the part which i will be presenting is mostly about the history of the college it was established in the year 2002 and it has been a uh, interesting journey for us uh, right from the beginning our uh, vision has been service and excellence and towards that goal we have been trying trying hard to make sure that we bring out engineers who are dedicated to give the best of service service with excellence so this is the vision and the mission uh, statements are also there the vision is to be a global premier institution of education and research and i think it's not much different from the vision that many institutions have but it's the journey that we have lived and what we have uh, achieved so far that speaks for itself well uh, as i said the inception was in 2002 and uh, this was the dream child of the bishop of mangalore then uh, uh, most of them uh, you know uh, elashus paul disosa uh, the current bishop is the president of the college and uh, from 2002 we were mostly focusing on teaching and uh, trying to establish ourselves as a teaching institution but that is the main thing that when you talk about uh, setting up a undergraduate college that is important to make sure that your teaching is effective to the undergraduate students but as we progress we uh, started looking at other important aspects of engineering education so uh, infrastructure development was one of the main themes in the early years and we quickly built up the campus and uh, the with the growth came new programs we started with some masters programs pg programs mba mca and also doctoral programs phd programs were started on campus by the time we were 10 years into the business by 2012 we had uh, already phd programs on campus so uh, early years some of the programs that we started are all shown here and uh, in the year 2012 2011 and 2012 we uh, started uh, as aspiring to uh, get accredited by nba national board of accreditation because accreditation being one of the important things when you have accredited degree then doors open for you across the world so uh, that was one of the important things and then we were also looking into trying to be an autonomous institution so we started working towards that and in the subsequent years we had the first cycle of nb accreditation we also started many more phd programs on campus and the one of the collaborations that helped us was collaboration with indo universal collaboration in engineering education wherein we were able to certify all our faculty with international uh, certifications on engineering education and that's one of the reasons why we are now looked upon as a college of uh, great teaching uh, great teachers and uh, it's a sort out college for admissions in the city and some of the infrastructure that we have built up uh, we have uh, amphitheater on campus we have uh, uh, hostels and we have uh, academic blocks sports facilities and, and and everything is built around uh, you know the greenery that is there we have tried to retain as much greenery as possible and we are trying to grow more trees in fact so it's uh, a campus which is really green and clean and uh, a really you know a delightful place for our students to study and uh, prosper our admissions have been growing very steadily we uh, we started with uh, 240 as the intake and now we have uh, almost uh, 780 is the intake right now for undergraduate and uh, 240 is the intake for the pg courses and one of the other things happening is that placements on campus have been uh, very good so especially in the recent years we have uh, been able to place most of our students and that is something which we are very really proud of especially in the core sector where placements are otherwise not so easy we have been uh, having a lot of success and the number of companies visiting the campus for placements also has been growing steadily 
Another thing that we are now focusing on is trying to go towards a dean duty research status and for that we are now focusing on research. We want our teachers to be good at research and so uh, a lot of progress has done so far, already happened but we are trying to do uh, go more deeply into that. Next. So this is our profile in IRINS, that is the Indian Research Information uh, Network System and it shows for itself that we are, uh, our faculty are publishing good, uh, good papers and uh, trying to, we are trying to make the mark in the research field. This is the uh, number of Scopus publish publications by our faculty growing steadily year by year. Now, one of the things is that all this has been started showing itself, uh, the impact is there. Uh, we were able to get our program segregated in the second cycle in 2019 and now already we are into the third cycle. In 2022, we were, we were able to do that. And uh, one of the things is that we were able to get autonomy uh, through the UGC autonomy scheme in the year 2020. Now, so St. Joseph has become an autonomous college under VTU. And uh, we are uh, free to have our own curriculum as well as conduct the examinations on campus. And uh, the benefits which you come with autonomy also is to be more uh, proactive in reaching out to the industry, to the local needs, the local problems and to the community. And so that is what we are now trying to do. In uh, the year 2021, we also got uh, the college accredited by NAC and A plus grade. Uh, which was a great achievement in the first, very first cycle itself to get A plus grade. So now the college has A plus uh, grade NAC accreditation plus MBA for almost all the programs on campus. Another thing that we were able to achieve was in 2021, we got the AACT Idea Labs. Just 49 colleges in the whole of the country were given this grant, 1.1 uh, crores to build skilling uh, uh, facilities for our students to make them hands-on and more skilled with the modern day skills as such. So this was one of the great things that we achieved. Some of the recent courses that we have introduced on campus are all emerging technologies like AML, computer science with data science and uh, uh, computer science with business systems. These are some of the uh, new founded programs. Also, we have a very niche program, MBA in Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Venture Development with a small intake of 30 and we and the explicit aim of students who take up this program is within two years to launch uh, their own startup and we are mentoring students towards that goal. The other thing that we have tried on campus is to uh, promote entrepreneurship and so we have a very structured program to do that. These are some of the programs done uh, with the mentoring of, uh, uh, you know, well, uh, very reputed people who come in to uh, guide our students and help them in uh, understanding how entrepreneurship uh, works and how they can be part of it as such. Some of the student achievements, just wanted to highlight a few of them, uh, recent ones. Uh, this student uh, who attended the Republic Day Parade in 2023 uh, got the gold medal for shipbuilding, uh, which is a very, uh, you know, for the first time that it was got for the Directorate of Karnataka and Goa, uh, the Admiral Nanda Trophy it is called. So it was a proud moment for us. And uh, our students have been doing very well in uh, hackathons. Uh, this is the Munnar Meditan where they got the third place and a cash prize. And uh, this was uh, another uh, hackathon where they did well, the automation and robotics clubs of the college. Healthcare innovation hackathon organized by NITA University. So the idea labs and the facilities that we have, our incubation center, we have main funding from the government of Karnataka, New Asian Incubation Network. This is helping us to set up uh, you know, the incubation facilities for startups. And these are some of the areas in which we are trying to focus currently. And the way ahead is that we are trying to work towards an RF ranking and the explicit aim there is to try and become a deemed university. So focus is on research and also in the long run to go in for a bit accreditation. 
So, what is it that we are here for in Emerge? Why are we associated with Emerge? One of the reasons is that we are looking for engineers, managers, technocrats to uh, help us with our entrepreneurship and incubation efforts on campus. We would like to uh, have people of experience to come in as adjunct faculty or professor of practice or guest lecturers. Also to uh, support anyone who wants to start a startup in our incubation facilities. This is what we are looking for. So we will keep in touch with the uh, participants here and we will try to see in what way we can be part of the great dream of becoming Mangaluru, a place for a hub for ideas, innovations and business ventures. So, a few glimpses of uh, life at the uh, college, St. Joseph Engineering College, SJC as we call it. We would like to thank some of the people associated with us here at the Emerge. Uh, Mr. Anand Karan, Mr. Vas Vishwas U.S. Rao, Mr. Arvind Kumar, Mr. Karthi Kattavar, Mr. Madhukar SM, Dr. Madhukar SM and Mr. Abhishek Bandari. Uh, thank you very much. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my startup TV.